Welcome to this 10 minute lightning talk, Public Transport Sao Paulo in a graph database presented by Igor Rosani. You can now start Igor. Thank you. Hello everyone. So I'm here to speak about my, my project, the Public Transportation of Sao Paulo in a graph database. So my name is Igor and I'm from Brazil. And these are my social network contacts. So this is my GitHub, LinkedIn, my Medium, and the Neo4j community user. So in case you have any questions or feedbacks, you can just enter in contact with me there. And this is a, a, what the context that I'm going to speak about. It's what is this project, the database, some cure examples, and then we have the question and answers and the Hunger Games. So what is this project? So I was going to an event in Sao Paulo and I was trying to figure out how to get from my hotel to the event that I was going. And Sao Paulo is a big and chaotic city. It has a lot of kinds of transport like buses, metros and trains and a lot of options. And if you look for the transportation map, you find this. And I was thinking like, okay, what would be the best road to take? Where can I get from one point into the other one? How would be better? And I was analyzing this map, looking and start to get a little familiar with, with something. I was looking, analyzing and, and then, then that, that's a graph. So since it's a graph, I, I decided to map it to, to a new 4 j database because all the stations are like nodes and the connections between the stations are the relationship. So with that, I created this database. It's a little overwhelming to look and a little scary, but it's basically a resume from the map to through this. So Sao Paulo has five different kind of transport. So it's metro, train, bus, Orca shuttle terminals and a tourist line. So in a, each of these became a node label in my database. And some some terminals or stations, they have they work as with more than one kind of transportation. So there is a metro station that it's also a train station. So that so it means that some places will have more than one label in that node. And the group of stations are aligned from the transportation system. So, and this is mapped here in the node that the line node. And so the lines are managed by some companies. So I represent that in the company label. And the connection between the stations are, are by the relationship type connect. And there I have the data that the kind of transport that they are. For example, if it's like a bus, if it's a train, or if it's a metro. So for, I decided to get, since I mapped that, I could extract some data from it. So I have few, here some few examples. So which line does a company own? So with that, I can do this query, like match the company with the lines and by the relationship on, and that we can get the company line, the company and the lines that, that it's managed by them. So for example, here we have the CPTM that owns the lines, Ruby, Diamond, Emerald. Another example is what stations of is part of which line. So it's another simple query that we just look for the, the, the nodes with the type line that has a relationship of the type part of. And we are grouped this, the, the station's name and we have this, this data. So a blue, the blue line have the station, Chabacuara, Tiradentes and all these other ones. Another example is how many stations have each line. It's a really similar to the previous query, 
but in this time instead of returning the list i'm just doing a count so and with this i discovered what which one is the biggest line from sao paulo and which one are, are the smallest ones so here we see like blue line is the biggest one and orca shuttle serves in airport express are the smallest ones and and the main question that I wanted to answer was, how can I get between between stations? So here in the example, I got two extremely distant points, like Grajaú, that's in, under in the Esmeralda line, and Rio Grande da Serra, that's in the other point, other part of the city. So for that, we just do the this this match. So I use the formula from shortest path that has in new 4 j and I pass this match clause that's looking for a station gradual connected with Rio Grande that has a connection, a relationship of the type node connect with Rio Grande do Norte, Rio Grande da Serra. And I just say like, I don't set a limit. I just say like as many stations as you need to get this path. And with that, I get this road that's, that you have to pass by Rajaú, Primavera, Autódromo, and all the other ones. But when I did that, I had one problem. This is the representation of what, I, what the path would like. But let's suppose I don't want to take buses in the city. I only want to go by train or metro. So for that, I had to change that query to another type. So here I change it. It's really, really similar to the previous one, but the difference is that now I'm doing a where and looking for the, the relationships, the transport type. And I say like, I only want the transport of train or metro. And now the directions are a lot more stations, of course, but it's only using the train, the train lines and metro lines. And here's the representation of what would be in the path. And this, this project is it's really simple and it's available on, on GitHub. So this is the, my repository address. You can just go there, check it. Give any, if you have any feedback, just create an issue or a pull request. Feel free, feel free to play it and use it. And that's it, my presentation. And do you have any questions? And thank you, and this is my Hunger Games. We'll give everybody five minutes to answer these questions before we um, leave the screen, okay? Okay. Okay, I think everybody has had enough time to answer the questions. They're not a cipher there. Um, thank you very much, Igor, for posting the information about your project on GitHub. We appreciate that. And um, thank you very much for presenting to us today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good event. Thank you. Bye-bye.